Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Short is Better. It was a long holiday break, but now I'm back. Back to work, back to modding. And today I wanted to try modify the same steel dive 1970. As you remember, if you remember of course this dial, I already made one mod with this dial. And it turned out to be really beautiful, so I ordered I ordered more dials. The same type we have here white dial, very beautiful. I think I'm gonna make with white. Not sure yet, and we have dark blue. So yeah, still cannot decide between these two, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see which one looks better. So right now I'm gonna open the watch and start the modding. For those who is new, I want to remind you that when you remove the crown, you have to be very careful. Make sure, make sure it's not in the first or second position. You just freely move it, and then you have to press. If you can see, okay, you have to press here on this small part. And pull the crown the same time. What's gonna happen if you if you do it wrong? You're gonna break the keyless system. You can of course you can fix it, but it takes time. I broke it before, maybe two or three times. It's really annoying thing, but sometimes can happen if you don't know the steps. Okay, so right now I can move it out from the case, put the case aside, put the crown back to the moment. Align hands together, just like that. Then use this piece of protective plastic for the dial. Enhance. Another pair of tools. And at the same time, Equally from both sides, you're lifting the hands just like that. Done. Why right, stick to the okay? If you want to use, if you want to use these hands. In your mode, you have to be very careful because these steel dive hands, they're very, I would say, they're very soft, they're very easy to, uh, to destroy them. Then you find a gap between the movement and the dial. Use the flat screwdriver and just lift it. There are two gaps from two sides. Done. Now, I want to see which one gonna be actually better. So here I have the white dial, which I think looks really cool. I like this color, but, but this dark blue, it is very attractive too. You cannot see right now with this angle, but it looks very, very nice. And I'm still not sure which one should I use, the blue one or white. Hmm, I didn't try the white one yet. Let's see. Next we have to cut the pins from the back of the dial. Look at the original one, 
and you can see that the location of the original does not match with my dial. So it means I have to cut them all, all these four pins and put it on the double side scotch tape. Okay, so now it is ready. As you can see, it's flat and nice. Next, I'm going to put the double scotch tape which is exactly for this purpose you can find it on Aliexpress Okay, done. And I just realized that the camera probably is a bit too high. I'll put it lower. Yep, looks much better. So before I saw some others use three pieces I use four or even five this time just for better security and next you have to put the dial but make sure you remember which date it's supposed to be if you don't remember use your old dial and try to place it back so in my case that's 23 now I'll try to aim exact center for my date window for this purpose I'm gonna move it from the camera so you're not gonna see it okay take a look seems to be very nice just straight center yeah from the first try I'm getting more experience now when you're sure that you align it perfectly then you can press it gently a little bit harder on the on the dot points so you can glue it completely yeah mine looks perfect already and next step i'm ready to set the hands for that move pull the crown to the second position to adjust the time and once you get the midnight, go very slowly. Very, very slowly. Okay, now I change the date. So right now should be maybe three minutes past midnight. And I'm ready to set the first hour hand. Oops. Just like that.
Next, I use the right tool for hands, for the hour hand. Wanna remind you, the first time don't push too hard. You are measuring right now and later, when you are sure it's the right position, you can push all the way in. As you can see, it looks perfect again. Now I'm sure I can push it all the way down. Check again. Yep, very good. Now look from the side. If the hour hand is not too high, the tip is not too high or too low, make sure it's stay perfectly horizontal. I think I can move it a little bit lower. So you might need to do a lot of micro adjustments like this just to find the right position. But by the way, but usually usually if the hands are good quality then you shouldn't have any problems. It is very easy. Okay, so next Next gonna be minute hand. Let's go. Using another tool for the minute hand. check if I guess it right 12 looks very good good let's try six yes perfect and nine Yeah, again from the first try, very good. As you can see 12 already, but the date didn't change yet. So three minutes past 12. Let's try one more time to make sure. Sometimes it shows a few minutes different. Three minutes. I want to push this minute hand maybe two minutes back. As you can see, I can easily adjust it because I didn't push hard. Let's see the alignment of hands right now. Six o'clock. Nine and twelve. Twelve, perfect. Four. Good, should be a little bit back. I move it back 
and push it. Then you can look closer if you push it deep enough. I think I can go a little bit more. Yep, looks good now. Let's see when the day will be changed. I predict it's gonna be two minutes past 12. No. Okay, 2.5 minutes past 12. Anyway, it's a very good result too. Then check from the side if the hands align perfectly with each other if they don't touch each other not too high or too low these hands look good as you can see i don't need to correct anything right now and the last step is the second hand For set, setting second hand, I like to use additional tool. In my opinion, it feels easier to do by two tools. Just like that. Before you push it, make sure you put it in the center here you go in the center now I can push it all the way in This second hand very very thin so be extremely careful with it because it's really easy to bend this hand but take a look at the result it's beautiful the alignment with the second hand is just perfect I couldn't ask for better let's wait and see Yeah, just look at it. Nice, very, very nice. So I'm checking alignment on every 10 minutes to make sure hands don't touch each other and they align perfectly. Beautiful. Okay, so usually if the hands are perfect in two three positions then means they are perfect in every other positions as well yes okay so next step make sure that the dial is clean like completely clean you don't want to have any dust because next you're gonna put it back to the case and close it it is very annoying when you close the case you're very happy about your mode and then you can see some dust and you open it again and start over yeah it is very annoying so avoid this don't be lazy clean it properly clean everything you can see use different angles use more light find some dust and clean it 
Okay, everything looks clean. And it's time to remove the crown again and put it back in the case. Beautiful or not. Before pushing it in, make sure it is in the right location. Because you don't want to move the, the movement once you already put it in the case. Otherwise you can accidentally move the dial. And it is another annoying thing. If you move the dial you have to open it and do it one more time. Here you go. Nice. I would really like to see something something red or yellow on the dial as well because hence as you can see they are a bit green yellow and this the pointer of the second hand red. Yeah, something red is missing in the dial. But anyway, the markers on the on the dial and the bezel insert they match perfectly. I love the look. Yes. So, before closing the case, make sure there is no dust again. You can put the crown back to the watch. Very, very gently. Next, if you, if you already know how, I suggest you to balance, to adjust the balance wheel here. To make sure that your watch runs perfectly I mean perfectly I mean by plus minus three seconds a day that's I think already good result I managed to make even zero a day but zero is now a zero you know there is no zero there is always plus one or plus minus one anyway gonna be some small error anyway if you wanna if you want to adjust the balance wheel there are lots of videos on YouTube how to do it you can use your app from the phone to do it someone say that it is not accurate enough because there is a lot of noise outside and your microphone from the phone gonna pick up that noise I will not show you the accurate result yeah so just make sure there is no noise around you when you do it and then it's pretty accurate okay right now I'm gonna close everything adjust the balance wheel and gonna show you the videos how it looks like with the bracelet outdoor. Here you go, the final result. As you can see, this mod turned out to be really beautiful. The colors are matching. So we got here the stainless steel body, ceramic bezel with nice very bright loom, nice dial, bright hands, by the way dial is not that bright, hands are much brighter, then ceramic glass, uh, the new upgraded bracelet clasp, and steel dive logo. Right now I'm gonna show you how it looks in the dark, it's still very bright. Here we go. I've been outdoor for a few minutes and you can see it's very bright, beautiful. 
Thank you for watching and let me know if you want this model or anything else. You can design your own mod. Just let me know.